Number one, my healthy morning routine starts the night before by taking a couple minutes to write affirmations. Whenever I do this, I wake up happier, feeling more confident and happy about my life. Number two is no TV before bed. I sleep so much better without it. And I have to get eight hours of sleep each night, so I use a sleep timer on my phone to help remind me and schedule my alarm. Number three is I set my phone to airplane mode and I leave it in airplane mode for at least the first 30 minutes of my morning. This helps me to live on purpose and not in reaction. Okay, here I am making my bed. I'm such a deep sleeper that I don't really mess it up at night at all, so I just kind of flap it over and move on with my day. I like to be really efficient. Those are my night guards to keep my teeth nice and straight. Then I brush my teeth with fluoride-free toothpaste and wash my face with cool water to help wake me up. Let me know if you want links to any of the products I use or if you want me to do a separate skincare video for you. It's coffee time, my favorite part of the morning. I filter my water through the Berkey filter to remove fluoride and other contaminants from the water. And I always use freshly ground beans and then I take a quick whiff of it. <laughs> Call me crazy and weird, but I'm obsessed and I just love it. Number four, move, stretch, connect with your body. Take just a couple of minutes while your coffee is brewing to move your body, to connect, to ground, to appreciate the amazing vessel that you get to live in every single day. This is such an important part of your day because you can relieve tension, you can get energized, and it truly grounds you for your day. You don't need a fancy yoga mat, fancy yoga outfits, or anything like that, or even need to be in a yoga class for you to get the benefits of this. That's why I love showing this because it can just take a couple of minutes minutes right here on your kitchen counter in your PJs while your coffee is brewing to just get that full body stretch and it's going to make such a big difference in your day. So try these out and let me know how they go. Number five is get ready. I work from home, so there have been some days where I'm still in my PJs with messy bed hair at 2 p.m. and it just doesn't feel good. So I got into the habit of getting ready right away. I like putting on just a little bit of makeup. It seriously takes less than five minutes. And then I style my hair so I'm ready for any Zoom meeting or filming that I need to do. It's coffee time, and guys, I've reintroduced dairy into my diet, which is so exciting since I've healed my gut with my healmygut.com program. And now I use this A2 creamer, which is better for for people with sensitivities and is so much healthier than the nut alternatives that have so many additives like gums and carrageenan. Number six, get outside. Being in direct sunlight within the first 30 minutes of waking up will regulate your hormones and actually help you sleep better too. Number seven, create your day. One of the most powerful habits I ever picked up was this right here, writing out my day as if it already happened. And I do this for any goal that I wanna accomplish. I visualize my day as if I've already done it and it's so effortless and it gets me so excited too. Then I pop up to my computer, see if anything needs my immediate attention from my team. Then I get dressed. And guys, if you haven't noticed yet, I'm kind of obsessed with Fabletics. I mean, look at these leggings. Their pockets are always in the most perfect places. I seriously can't wear leggings without pockets anymore. And they have so many fun options because I literally wear my athletic wear all day long. And they're so comfy and the fabrics feel so high-end. Their colors brighten my mood and it is seriously the best deal out there because right now you can actually join their VIP membership and get 70% off every single item. That is insane. I'm not sure when that ends, but I'll leave my link in the description box below so you can check it out for yourself. And these bodysuits, oh my gosh. I mean, how pretty is this? I love this sheen on the leg. It looks like a bodysuit, but it's not. And it's got this cute little pocket. It's got this nice curved scoop neck on the back. And I wear this in all my bar workouts. Yes, it comes in multiple colors. And everyone always asks, where's your bodysuits from? They are from Fabletics. They're just gorgeous. And then for the day, I'm just gonna throw on this tank just to have a little extra cover up there. Now it's time to cook some food. Number eight is eat nutrient dense fats and proteins in the morning. I cook with beef tallow and I salt my food with Redmond salt to stay hydrated. I'll link both of those below for you, but removing carbs in the morning stabilizes my blood sugar, keeps me full longer and helps me focus so I don't crash later. Thanks for spending the morning with me and remember it's not all about nailing every single one of these habits every day pick one and grow from there comment below to let me know which habit you're going to try next remember to hit the subscribe button to support my channel and i'll see you in the next video love you